right now I'm literally like all dressed up like this is the first time ever I have little booties on can you see them right there yeah they're so cute Today I wanted to go over the five things that I think were the key factors of me losing 15 pounds throughout the two weeks. Two weeks? Wow, that'd be a lot. <laughs> two months. So I kind of pinpointed the main things that I've cut out or I've changed in my everyday diet or life and I wanted to tell you guys about them and kind of give you... I guess a little detail on it. I have to make this video a little bit quick because I tried to make it as I was getting ready, but I can't multitask at all, like do my makeup and talk to the camera at the same time. So I'm just gonna go over it really fast because me and Brian are literally leaving in like an hour. So I'm gonna start off at one of the things that I think could have helped, and that is drinking a gallon of water a day. Sounds so crazy, I know, but water is a natural detox for your body. Not even that, it clears up your skin so much. It helps with your hair. It's just an all-around thank you from your body, so making sure that you're getting in water and staying hydrated. Number four is sleep. I believe that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna flop around five and four. I think sleep would be five and then water would be before but so anyways sleep is definitely a cofactor as well making sure that you're getting enough sleep your body needs it that's when it's going to recharge and rejuvenate um, that's when your muscles are actually rebuilding from when you were going to the gym and you know breaking down all the muscle proteins that's when it's gonna have the time to rebuild so making sure that you're getting in that time so when you are getting enough sleep that is not good for your mental health whatsoever and when your mental health is kind of out of whack that means that your stress hormones, your cortisol levels will go up and that cortisol is like one of the key factors for fat growth that you do not want. Fat growth is kind of like a weird terminology. I'm never gonna use that again. Another thing is being consistent. I'm kind of like on a regimen with myself. Some days I won't get to the gym until nighttime, but I like to go in the morning because my body's like used to going in the morning and that's when it, you know, will metabolize the best and use the energy the best because it just knows that I go in the morning. I, at least that that's what I think. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm nuts, but if my schedule is just out of whack and I'm not being consistent, like, I'm not really giving back to my body. My body isn't going to reward me. So being consistent has really, really helped. Another thing is making sure that I'm getting in enough food and eating a little bit more. So it's common for someone to think, okay, so I want to lose weight. I need to be in a complete deficit. Deficit? Wow. I need to be in a deficit and like that's the only thing like that's that's gonna work I'm gonna get skinny from not eating and that is not true you need to be eating above your BMR so your BMR is your basal metabolic rate if you're eating below that then your body thinks you're starving so instead of being like I'm gonna eat a thousand calories a day try, like I don't I don't care if you think that your BMR is a thousand like eight hundred and a thousand calories it's not I know for a fact it's not so there are calculations online where you can figure it out. Find that number and then do not eat below that number because your body knows how to metabolize food. It knows how to use food for energy. So stop bringing yourself to this low caloric deficit. Like figure out what you need to be at. Eat that number and make sure that you know, you're know you fueling your body because your body needs it. My number one thing, uh, actually, you know, before I say my number one thing, I want to talk about drinking. When you drink and, you know, you work out and you're like, what am I not getting results? Your liver is trying to, like, flush out all the toxins and the liver isn't giving back to your muscles that actually need it. So when you drink, your body puts everything else on hold. It's like, nope, we need to get this guy out of here. Alcohol, you are not supposed to be in here. It's like a bodyguard. Like, they don't worry about the people inside the club. They're now worrying about the guy that's trying to you know get in that was a terrible analogy but do you get what I mean your body's trying to work to get the alcohol out rather than actually giving back to your body my number one number one literally number one I'm I'm not saying this because I want you guys to do it but it's being vegan I mean if you want to be vegan please message me I can help you out like it's the best decision I've ever made I do believe that is one of the reasons like number one reason why I lost 15 pounds I think that I could have been allergic to something that I was eating before but I, the number one thing is not getting any growth hormones from animals anymore my camera just ran out of space <laughs> 
Okay, so think about it. There obviously is not enough animals in this world to feed everyone. So what do they have to do? They have to come up with growth hormones and they need to, you know, pr produce the animals a lot quicker. So that is a lot of chemicals coming into your body, guys. And the growth hormones from the animal eating the growth hormones, that is now inside of you. There is nutrients in there for the baby calf. Is it calf? I think it is. Calf to grow. Just like with your mom's breast milk, there's nutrients in that to help the child grow. So... I'll let you figure that whole one out, but I those are definitely like the key factors as to why I lost 15 pounds in two months. And that is all I have for you guys today because, like I said, I want to edit this video really, really quick and get it up for you guys and go out with Brian and a couple of friends. It's my first night going out without drinking on my prep, um, so like I said, I, I'm not drinking for the next four and a half months and times like this are going to be a little bit rough because... You know, I, I'm easily influenced by other people, but I'm not doing it. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, follow me on the Instagram. And I would appreciate you so much. I do this all by myself, and yeah, I'm gonna get off now.